Hey there, this is Mission to Game here, trying out Forewarned. That glowing item that you just saw in the back of the truck is the artifact we need to collect to complete the level. Uh, and we have to do this by getting past the uh, mummy that is defending it. And we have to also identify what type of mummy it is. As you can see, this is your backpack that you get to pull out your items from when you start the level. Uh, you can choose your items before you get into level, uh, but since this is literally like almost my first run, I don't have very many items to choose from, and I don't have any money at all, so this is all I get to choose from. My friend on the other hand does have uh, the stronger headlamp, so we're just comparing it here and you can see it was a pretty big difference. Couldn't really see any light from mine really coming off, but you could actually see that he had his torch on. So to start off, basically you enter in the uh, pyramid, or underground pyramid, and uh, you basically are searching for different signs of mumminess, I guess. When you press L you get to bring up your uh, book and you can click evidence and in evidence basically you have all these different types of things that you can compare against of what the mummy has done. Since we only have the basic equipment we can really only compare it against the basic type of evidences such as blowing out fire, uh, reanimation and tremors and stuff. As you probably noticed, uh, as I've been walking around, I've lit up a lot of torches and uh, pyres as I go along. Uh, this is really handy for one of the evidences, and also just to make you be able to see, because uh, this place is really dark. And then behind these kind of stuff, you can also find gold coins, which I believe, once you complete the level, the amount of gold coins that you find is actually your loot, which is divided amongst your team members at the end of the level and you'll each get a cut of the gold that is found between everyone. Also we did find a lever behind one of these pies and from what I looked up you need to pull two of them with the same symbol at the same time and it opens up another room. I didn't do it of course because I had no idea but uh, keep a lookout and see if you can find multiple of these levers. That'll be cool. So that scared the bejeebus out of me, uh, but I did remember that there was a reanimation in the evidence book, so got to enter that in nice and quickly. Also none of us actually opened up that tomb, so we got to put in the evidence disturbed tombs. So that was lovely. One of my teammates who I was speaking to in Discord did actually have a pot be destroyed right in front of him, so I got to enter that in for destruction, so that is lovely.
did have my torch uh, turned off a couple times throughout the journey, but I wasn't sure, so I did confirm with teammates, and they did have torches going off within like seconds of relighting it, so we're able to put that up as evidence, which is awesome. This narrowed down our options of mummies to Rathos the Damned, uh, which meant we could go to this cool little door and choose Rathos. If we got that wrong, I believe it just kills you straight away, which is not fun. So you can understand my hesitancy to open up the door without uh, proper consent from the rest of the squad. Yeah, so as soon as you break into that last room, you start getting chased by the mummy itself. And you need to try to avoid it at all costs, because it'll, it'll scream at you. So from this point, the route upstairs back to your jeep is actually barred. So you need to actually find a lever, which is a blue lever, not like the one that I was trying to pull. Uh, which opens up that door again. As you can see, I was pretty scared and just hiding in a corner, uh, but that's what all brave men do, right? Once you're out, I believe the mummy can't follow you outside, or at least it didn't for us, so that was lovely, because I was already uh, pretty scared by then. And then you just put in your item artifact into the back of the jeep, and um, close the back of the jeep up, and you can take off of the jeep, and that ends level. If you die, like I've done for the last like three rounds, uh, you won't get any XP or money, uh, but if you don't, then like this first round for the first time, you actually get XP, which is great, and money. And you can go to the front room on the left-hand side and purchase items if you want it. Unless you're facing the entrance, which it's on your right-hand side. And you just click Archie Obey, however you pronounce that. Definitely a cool game so far. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have fun.